Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show you how to knit this scarf. I call this a cell pattern. To get started I will make a loop, put it to the left and insert my needle. So this is my first stitch, this is my short tail of the yarn and the other one is long one. So I will wrap my long or ball end of the yarn over my pointy finger and short or tail end of the yarn over my thumb. Then I will start to work from left to right to make my second loop and all the rest. For this pattern I need multiples of 3 stitches plus 1 stitch, so I will cast on 25 stitches, but you can make more stitches to make wider scarf, it's up to you. Row I will knit all stitches to end. For the second and all even rows I will purl all stitches to end. For the third row I will knit one then make a loop then knit three then I will make a decrease from those three stitches I will make two so with the help of a left needle I will pull through the first stitch those two last stitches. Just like that. Then again yarn over or make a loop. Then knit three and then again decrease. So after the decrease, I will have two stitches on my right needle. Then again yarn over, knit three, and decrease. So I will repeat the process to end. Fourth and all even rows, purl all stitches to end. For the fifth row, I will knit three. Then I will do the decrease. So I have two 
встичі Sunway Ride Needle The Needle to Yarn Over and Again Nitsery So I will repeat the process to one last stitch Yarn Over and Nitsery So then one yarn over and knit one, then turn again my six and all even rows I will purl all stitches to end. My seventh row will be like my third one. So I will knit one. Then make a loop, knit three, and then make from last three stitches two. So do the decrease, then again yarn over, knit three, and again decrease. So yarn over, knit three, and then reduce one stitch. Again, make a loop, knit three, and again do the decrease. So I will repeat the process to end. And then one less decrease. So continue the pattern until you reach the desired length of your scarf. So at the end I will knit one more row. And then I will cast off all the stitches. To cast off, I will knit two stitches together and then I will slide back 
one stitch from my right needle on my left needle then again I will knit two stitches together and then again I will slide my stitch back on my left needle so I will repeat the process to end So and one more time. So now you can stop here and just uh, cut the yarn and secure it and you will have like this ending like you have here. Or you can use a hook and do edges. on both sides so to do the edge I will use a hook instead of a needle and this is will be my first stitch on the hook then I will make one more chain stitch and again another one then I will insert my hook into the second uh, stitch and grab the yarn and pull it through the last stitch then again I will make two more stitches and then again I will insert the hook into the following stitch grab the yarn and pull it through then again two more and again pull it through so I will repeat the process to end. And you should develop those bumps by doing that. So I will continue two more. And again grab the yarn and pull it through. So at the end again, one stitch another one, grab the yarn, pull it through, so that's what you have so far, and then I, again I will do two returning stitches and turn, then I have those bumps. So I will insert, insert my hook into one of those bumps, into first one from my hook and again grab the yarn and pull it through. Again I will do two more stitches, again insert my hook into the second bump and pull it through. So I will repeat the process to end.
and last time I will do two more stitches then insert my hook into the last bump and pull the yarn through so again now you can stop here or add few more rows as desired I won't do any longer I'm good with that so I will just cut the yarn and secure it Now our scarf is ready and thank you for watching.